King Sean here, back with another video. In today's video, um, I'm going to be this. Um, I'm going to be um showing you guys five um free agent linebackers the Washington Football Team could be targeting this off off season and should be targeting this off season because the linebacker position is a huge need on this team. So here are my five linebackers. Washington Football Team should target this off season. If you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Let's get to it. So first off, let's start with Levante David, linebacker for the Buccaneers. So, um, you know, Levante Davis, he's a really good linebacker. He has over 1,000 tackles in his career, over t um, 24 sacks. And he has 12 interceptions in his career. So, Levante Davis is a great linebacker. He's very underrated because I think it's because the Buccaneers haven't been, haven't been to the playoffs in so long. People underrate him. He's one of the most un, he's basically the most underrated linebacker in the league. So, so he doesn't get props for what he does. And I think he would be a very good fit on this team. And it'll kind of be weird because. Levante David is more of a outside linebacker, like kind of like that Will, but he can also play in the middle. He can also play the middle linebacker position. So, yeah, he he's basically very athletic, um, great fit on this team, and you know he will be really good. So let's look at his stats. Twenty twelve, his rookie season, played all his games, one hundred twenty one tackles, um, and two sacks. He also had one interception. Oh, actually, he didn't have any interceptions. Interception. Oh, he did have one interception. Oh, I never mind then. And then in 2013, he had 130 tackles, and he had five interceptions along with seven sacks. Wow. And then 2014, he missed some games, but still pretty good. Posted the same amount of stats from 2013. And then 2015... To 2016, both years he played great. 2016 was kind of a down year for him. That was his um, worst year in his c entire career, if you're gonna base it on stats. And then in 2017, he missed three games, but still was really good. 92 tackles, zero sacks, unfortunately, and he did not have an interception. So that wasn't his one of his best games in his career. But 2018, 2019, 2020, he was really good. He had over a hundred tackles through those three seasons and he had more than one sack those three seasons. And two out of the three seasons had one interception. So Levante David would be very good for this team. We should definitely take a look at him. Now let's um, move on to Hassan Riddick, outside linebacker for the Arizona Cardinals. He's a really good linebacker. Um once again he has he wasn't like very good um in 2018, 2017, 2019, but he p performed really good this season. So I think we should definitely take a look at him. He would be pretty solid. Um, in 2017, his rookie year, he played all 16 games. He's he hasn't missed a game, which is really impressive. He hasn't missed his game missed a game in his c entire career, so that's really good. But anyways, he played 16 games, of course, 35 tackles. Two and a half sacks, and yeah, no interceptions. I mean, he wasn't great in his rookie season, but that's your rookie season, you know. Not expected to play great. And then 2018, he played all 16 games. Again, 76 tackles, um, and four sacks. He also had four, I mean, five pass deflections. 2019, he played better than 2018 minus the sacks. He had 73 tackles, one sack, and six pass deflections. But 2020, he, it was his best year. 61 tackles. He played all 16 games. 12 and a half sacks, most in, in his career. He has 20 com, um, combined sacks in his career and four pass deflections. I mean, that's really solid. And I think at that outside linebacker position, he would be really good. He can. He knows how to shoot up. He knows how to shoot up the gats. He, gaps he can also play middle linebacker too so you know he will be very good for this team definitely take a look at him now let's move on to Jayon Brown he was drafted the same year as Hassan Reddick and he's played pretty well with the Titans you know he's had 
um, over 50 tackles in every season besides his rookie season. Um, and he's played really good. Um, in 2017, he had uh, 49 tackles, one and a half sacks, and four pass deflections. So that's pretty good, honestly. And in 2018, he only had um, two seasons where he played all 16 games. In 2018, 85 tackles. Um, what else? Six sacks. That's his. Mo- that's the most in his career. Six pass deflections, one interception, and one touchdown. That's basically his best career. I mean, best season out of his whole career. And then, in 2019, he missed two games, played 14 games, though. 93 tackles, one sack, uh, eight pass deflections, and one interception. So, pretty good. And then, this year, 2020, he, he missed six games. Um, I think some of them um, was due to COVID and injuries. He, but he still had a pretty solid season: seventy-two tackles and one sack. Also, um, eight pass deflections and one interception. So, Jalen Brown, honestly, in my opinion, he's an inside linebacker. I think he will mostly fit on this team because we need a middle linebacker. We need somebody who can cover well, and he's a pretty he can cover well. I mean, in his entire career, twenty-six pass deflections, three interceptions. So that's pretty good based on stats. I don't know what his um percentage is, um his completion percentage when quarterbacks are targeting him, but I expect it to be low. So I think J. L. Brown is my favorite so far. Next up, Anthony Walker. Anthony Walker, middle linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts. Very good linebacker. It's kind of funny how Son Reddick, Anthony Walker and Jayon Brown were all drafted the same year, twenty seventeen. But um, anyways, you know Anthony Walker. Uh, Anthony Walker is pretty good. He's had one hundred one one hundred tackle season. Uh, twenty seventeen his rookie season. He didn't. He only played ten games, twenty two tackles, and yeah, he didn't really get that much playing time. But what do you expect? He's a rookie. I think he was dropped in the later rounds. And in twenty eighteen, he I think he became a starter. He started fifteen games, eighty nine tackles. Uh, one sack and four pass deflections. Also, one interception. That's pretty good. He's a good coverage linebacker too. He doesn't allow that many passes to be complete. So, yeah. and in 2019, he had he played 16 games, 112 tackles, uh, two and a half sacks, two pass deflections, and one interception. So that's a pretty good season. And I think that's his best season in his entire career. Um. You know, if you're if per statistics, so but 2020, I think in my opinion that was his best career. I mean, that was his. I keep saying career. I don't know why. That was his best season. So you know, yeah, that was a pretty good season. Um, he played a total of 16 games, 80 tackles, and five pass deflections with one interception. And the Colts made the playoffs. So you know, so that's pretty good. And now, KJ Wright, in my opinion, I think the favorite for us to go after, he he's had over 896 tackles in his career, 13 and a half sacks, 54 pass deflections, and 6 interceptions. So he's a very good coverage linebacker. So we're going to go by this one quick. So he's had 1, 2, Three, four, five, six um seasons where he's played all of his games, and with those six seasons, he had sixty plus tackles. All right, in twenty twelve, he had ninety two tackles, one sack, and five pass deflections, also one interception. Twenty thirteen, seventy eight tackles, four pass deflections, pretty good. Twenty four, oh, and then. 2017, he was pretty good. It was kind of a down year, though. A hundred. T- I mean, it wasn't really a um, major down year, but he stayed. He still played pretty good. Well, he played a 15 game, started 15 games, 102 tackles, 16 pass deflections, one interception. Then in 2018, he was injured. He had 90, 19 tackles and three pass deflections. So, overall, KJ Wright's pretty good. He plays outside linebacker for the Seahawks, and I think he'll be a pretty good fit on this team. So, 
These are some other free agent linebackers. Sean Lee, Kyle Frackerel, Devondre Campbell. There's not very, like, a lot of, like, talented linebackers in this free agent class. But the ones, the the linebackers that are talented, they're going to get a pretty good paycheck. So, yeah. So, these are all the linebackers. So, yeah, they're pretty good linebackers, honestly. So, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn on those notifications on. And every Wednesday, I'm going to do one of these videos for a position of need, like cornerback position, receiver position, um, safety position, etc. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. This is King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.